Radiography is such a, a valuable diagnostic tool in dentistry and cone beam CT lets us visualise the patient's tissues in a way that is just not possible with 2D imaging. We get this high resolution, three dimensional virtual model of the patient's tissues that we can view in any orientation or in any plane. We can see the exact location of the mandibular canal in relation to lower third molar roots. We can see the available bone in a prospective implant site and make an accurate measurement. We get a good indication of how many roots a tooth has prior to extraction or endodontic therapy. We can even evaluate the morphology and the anatomy of the root canal system prior to endodontics. Cone beam CT is also great for identifying those early periapical lesions that are otherwise very difficult to identify on conventional 2D imaging. The improvement in diagnosis is absolutely invaluable and it improves our assessment of dental disease and dental pathology. Cone beam CT is also great for identifying those early periapical lesions that are otherwise very difficult to identify on conventional 2D imaging. The improvement in diagnosis is absolutely invaluable and it improves our assessment of dental disease and dental pathology. With enhanced visualisation of the patient's tissues, we've now got the ability to make a, a better, more accurate diagnosis. And with a more accurate diagnosis, we get a better treatment plan, which leads to a better outcome for the patient. Also, because it's a virtual 3D model, our patients can better see the dental problems that they have, they can visualise their dental disease or any pathology that might be present. And when the patients can see, they understand what the problems are and that motivates them. So this allows practitioners to better plan more efficient treatment and get the most suitable outcome for the patient. The biggest advancement in cone beam CT technology in recent years has been the introduction of ultra-low dose exposure protocols. These new protocols allow us to obtain a three-dimensional view of our patients, but without the traditional dose penalty that came with three-dimensional imaging. So on the right machine, with the right protocol, you can obtain a cone beam CT scan for a similar dose to a digital OPG. And for a small field of view scan, it's possible to obtain that scan for a dose that's only slightly more than a conventional digital periapical radiograph. This now is just absolutely astonishing to have this 3D visualisation for such a low dose. It really makes us question what the ideal diagnostic imaging modality for dentistry ought to be.